What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today I am partnering up with Mooncat to show you their brand new Songs of Sirens collection. Before we get into it, if you haven't heard of Mooncat before, they are a nail polish brand that is 10 free, meaning they are free of 10 of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients, and they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. And like I said, they just released this brand new collection We've got nine new nail polishes, all very siren, oceanic inspired polishes. And we've got some really exciting finishes here. We've got flakies, we've got a little bit of a multi chrome vibe, and we actually have two new thermal nail polishes, meaning they change color based on the temperature. And we have two magnetic nail polishes, one of which is actually a holographic magnetic. So I was really excited when I saw this. I love the inspiration, and I feel like Mooncat really commits to their theme, so I was super intrigued to see what they would come up with. So let me show you the swatches, then we can get into my thoughts on them, pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch interview videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today it's the Mooncat base coat. I'll start off with the flaky jellies. This first one is called the Sea Between Us and it's a really beautiful sky blue jelly base. And inside that base, we have a bunch of iridescent green flakies. So they kind of blend together with that blue base to create this almost turquoise kind of color when you're looking at them. And since they're iridescent, they do have a little bit of a shifty property in there. And there's also a subtle little hollow sparkle running throughout. So it was a little bit shy on camera, but you can just see the little tiny specks everywhere. So I started off with two coats. I thought it looked really beautiful. There was still a touch of visible nail line, but it was very smooth and consistent throughout. But just out of curiosity, I did try a third coat and I think it looks beautiful both ways. I always mention this in my reviews, but one thing I love about jellies is when you can wear them in varying coats, just depending on your mood. So if I wanted something a little bit softer and lighter, I would do two coats. But if I want it to really pack a punch on the nails, then I can do three coats and it just looks a little bit more opaque and you don't get any visible nail line. So it's kind of cool to have the option there. Next up, we have the shade Maelstrom, which is the other jelly flaky of the collection. And this one actually in a really beautiful deep teal jelly base. And again, we have a bunch of iridescent green flakies running throughout. And the way that they combine with that base just makes them look so deep and almost a little sinister, which I love. And again, we do have that subtle hollow sparkle running throughout. And again, I really like that I can kind of play around with how many coats I want to do. So I started off with two coats. It looks really beautiful and consistent across the nail. It's not patchy at all but I also wanted to try a third coat just to see how deep and dark I could get this. And it looks so deep and opaque in three coats, absolutely stunning. So again, just really nice to have that option as to whether to do two or three coats, depending on what kind of vibe I'm going for on my nail. So almost feels like having two polishes in one. Next up, we have the shade The Siren's Revenge. And this one is a really beautiful, soft, minty green base. And it is absolutely packed with this this iridescent shimmer that shifts between blue and green depending on how you're looking at it. And this is just a really beautiful classic shade. It feels like the perfect transitional kind of shade from spring into summer, but it also just feels very classically spring to me. I actually loved the way that it looked in two coats. I probably should have tried a third just to show you what that looked like, but I just love this soft minty vibe on my nail. And I just love how shifty those iridescent sparkles are. Moving on, we have the shade Am I Ever everything you fear. And this one's really interesting. It actually gives a little bit of a multi-chrome vibe, but it's not quite a multi-chrome. We actually have this dusty teal base color. And then within that base, we've got a duochromatic shimmer that shifts between pink and copper and orange. And then we also have this subtle hollow sparkle running throughout. And I ended up getting perfect coverage in three coats for this one. Again, you can do less coats if you want, but I really love of the depth and intensity with that third coat on. And I just love shades like this because it almost feels like you can't even really tell what color it is because there's so much going on in there. It's just very interesting and there's just a lot of layers to it. And then we've got the shade A Most Destructive Melody. And this one is a multi-chromatic shimmer that head on looks like this gorgeous purple, but it shifts into a really intense blue. And then at extreme angles, you can just see a bunch of colors 
colors in here. I was so impressed with the opacity of this one. It gave me perfect coverage in two coats and it really looks like a blackened multi-chrome. You can just see how deep and dark it is and around the edges you can actually see a little bit of this kind of orangey color coming through because multi-chromes, whatever way you look at them, they're gonna look a little bit different. So I just love the depth of this color. And I also love that it's a shimmer. It's not like a smooth, flat kind of color. You can see little specks of interest in there and they catch the light a little bit differently. So now let's move on to the magnetic nail polishes. We've got two in the collection. This first one is called Ghost Ship and this one is a really stunning, cool toned purple magnetic polish. But you'll see once I magnetize it that there's actually a couple of different shimmers in here. So we actually have the magnetic silver shimmer, but underneath that we have an intense blue shimmer. So what I like to do for my magnetic nail polishes is I'll apply the polish for full coverage and then I'll do a final coat to magnetize. So I did two coats for full coverage and then I did magnetize the third coat and you can see just how much this color transforms. Once all of that silver pigment is pulled into the middle, you can see that intense blue sparkle in there and it looks so stunning. So I love the way that this looked in the cat eye style, but I was also curious to try it in the aura or velvet style that I like to show you as well. I thought it was really cool. It kind of separated the silver shimmer from the blue. So looking at it head on, you could really see a lot of that silver. But when I moved my nail at certain angles, you could just see the blue. So it was kind of cool to see them a little bit separated, but it's harder to tell on camera. And then we have the other magnetic of the collection. This one is called Quicksands Embrace. And this one is a pinky beige color. I like to call this a blush nude because it really does feel like that sort of blush tone. And let me tell you, unmagnetized, this is such a stunning neutral shade. I love the way that it looks. I think it's just so soft and it perfectly suits my skin tone. So I really loved it unmagnetized, but I was also very curious to see how it would look like with the magnetic pigment pulled towards the center. So the pigment in here is actually this really soft, subtle silver hollow. It's kind of shy on camera. I feel like it's a little bit harder to tell that holographic pigment in there, but when the light catches it, you can just see this soft little rainbow. And I loved the way that this looks magnetized as well. It just feels like a neutral manicure, but a little bit advanced with having that little stripe of magnetic in there. And it almost makes the base color look a little bit more jelly-like, which I thought was so pretty. So I loved the way that that one looked in the cat eye style. I was also curious to try it in the aura style. And I feel like it just kind of pulled that hollow pigment to the front. So you could just see the sparkle a little bit more. Again, the holographic pigment was a little bit shy on camera, but in sunlight, it's just so vibrant and stunning, but it's still subtle and soft. And now moving on to the thermal color changing nail polish. I was so excited when I saw these because in Mooncat's last collection, they did do a thermal and I fell in love with that formula so hard. So very excited to see two more from them. This first one is called Dark Omens and it's this intense, deep, very slightly dusty eggplant purple when it's cold. But then when it's in its warm state, it turns into this light warm toned purple cream. So I'm showing you the color shift with water just because that's the easiest way to change the color. So on the left side, I've got cold water. On the right side, I've got warm water, but it is just so reactive to the color shift. I found even when I was near the warm water, it kind of started shifting into the warmer shade. But then when I was hovering near the cold water, it started shifting back. So super fun, super reactive. And I just love this deep vampy color turning into this bright spring kind of shade. It's just a fun combination of colors. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Treachery in the Blue. And this is another thermal polish. In its cold state, it's this beautiful deep blue that has a slight dustiness to it. And then in its warm shade, it actually shifts into this neutral pinky nude shade. And within the polish, we actually have a silver hollow micro glitter. So it almost kind of just looks like stars on the nails 
scattered throughout and I think it's so cute. So I actually started off with two coats for this one and it did give me full opacity, but because the polish is a light, more sheer neutral in its warm state, I did decide to go in with a third coat, but honestly, I do think I could get away with doing two coats of this one. But here it is with the color shift and you can see it's just such a vibrant shift between the two colors. So it's super noticeable on the nail, which I love. And I feel like people ask me a lot if it's even worth wearing thermal nail polish if you have really short nails. And I do have pretty short nails, but I find that thermals change constantly on me. I don't always get that natural gradient, but I do feel like throughout the day, I don't even realize that some of my fingers will randomly be colder than others. And I'll just see them shifting throughout the day. And it's just super fun. So I do highly recommend it. So here are all of the polishes together. And I am so in love with this color story. I love the theming being sirens and oceans and this sort of mystical, very slightly evil vibe. But the colors here are just so beautiful, especially together. And I just love the variety of formulas. It feels like there's something for everyone. But again, the color story is just so perfectly within my preference. My favorite polishes are always the blues and the greens and the purples. And I just feel like we got all of that in here and it's so beautiful. There's a lot of shades that I think are just perfect for the spring summer transition, but I feel like these you can really wear any time of year, especially the thermals. I think they're so fun to play around with and the color shift is just so strong in them. And I love how different the cool color is from the warm color because it just really makes it super obvious on the nail that you're wearing a thermal. And I just, I love how distracting they are. I always can't stop staring at my nails when I'm wearing thermals. So those are the polishes. And I have to say, I love these. I think the colors are so stunning. And like I said, in the beginning of the video, I feel like Mooncat really commits to their themes and I just love their inspiration. I love the way they go about making nail polishes. And I just love how well the color stories flow. And I think this collection is no exception. They did a really incredible job and all of the colors just feel so beautiful and unique to me. And of course, I am so excited about these thermal nail polishes. If you remember in their Seasons of Persephone collection, they came out with a thermal, which I believe was their first thermal. And I totally loved it. I think it's so incredible and super reactive. And these thermals are the same way. They're just super reactive to different temperatures. And the quality is really incredible. The formulas are just so smooth and easy to use. So I'm very pleased to see them continuing to make thermals. And I hope that they make more. But yeah, let's get into pricing and availability. All of these polishes come in 12 milliliter bottles and they do feature a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip. The price does vary based on the formula. So the thermal polishes and the magnetic polishes retail on the Mooncat website for $16 USD each and the rest of the shades in the collection retail for $15 USD each. Or you can get the full set of nine nail polishes and that retails for $120 USD. So I'm going to link everything down below. You can check them out if you're interested, but I'm so curious to hear what everybody thinks. What do you think of this collection? What do you think of the theme? Are you planning on picking any of the colors up? And if so, which ones? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Sabrina and Sabrina wants to know who is your childhood celebrity crush? Honestly, I don't know that I had one. I feel like I had crushes on characters in shows and movies, but I don't think there was like an actual celebrity that I had a crush on. Ugh, I don't know, let me think about it. I don't know that I was like fully aware of celebrities when I was younger. I mean, as far as like characters, Colt from Three Ninjas had a big crush on him, loved him. Danny Phantom, obviously, <laughs> but also Sam.
because uh, again, obviously, I, I think my first celebrity crush was probably Kristen Stewart. And I feel like that didn't happen until I was at least a teenager. So I, I don't know. I don't think there's like a celebrity that I had a crush on when I was younger. I, I think I just like characters. And honestly, a lot of them were cartoon characters. Yeah, I don't know. But if anybody wants to share their childhood crush, let me know in the comments. And also, if you have a childhood crush that was a cartoon character, please leave it in the comments because I'm curious. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.